Welcome back my darlings, uh, thanks for joining me again. In this video I'm going to be comparing, or uh, reviewing and comparing, uh, Malco Cherry Flash Liquid Paste Wax. Now originally I was going to put this up against Colonite 845 which is a you know, liquid paste wax. Uh, but after speaking to James at Slim's, he said it's more, more like a spray wax. It's, ah, interesting, and he's very thin, he's like that, it's not thick like Colonite 845 is. So I'm going to put it up against Turtle Wax Flex Wax instead. Uh, there are multiple ways of applying this on a pad, spread on using the machine, um, sprayed on, you can do it on a, a hand applicator, but apparently you can also do it wet. Now that was James's recommendation, not Malco's. So I'm going to give it as a go first wet before I dry the car. So on this door, I'm going to do the cherry flash sprayed on and then buffed off. And on this uh, quarter panel, I'm going to do the uh, Tidal Wax Flex Wax. So onto application, wet panel. Uh, and this time I'm starting off with a cherry flash and the cherry flash comes out as a stream when you spray it. It's quite thick, um, it doesn't mist up, unlike the Flex Wax, which kind of comes out as a very fine mist and spreads nice and evenly over the panel. Um, so this one you have to kind of work a bit more around the panel like a traditional wax. But, you know, unlike a traditional wax, you can put it on the plastics and that's the same with the Flex Wax, so that's good. You um, don't have to worry about rubbing it on seals and plastics and staining them, so that's a positive. I found that um, the Flex Wax is probably easier to apply, but the Cherry Flash is easier to buff off. The Flex is pretty grabby. I wonder if that's partly down to the temperature, it's about eight degrees this day, and I wonder if that is um, affecting or increasing the length of time it takes for the Flex Wax to kind of go off and be ready to be buffed, um, even as a wet wax. So yeah, that's an interesting thing to keep in mind. But I'd say ultimately the looks at the end of this were very, very similar. So both good products from that perspective. Okay, so now it's time for the dry application. Um, new cloths, so there wasn't any contamination or dampness coming in from that aspect. And I'm now uh, putting the cherry flash on the rear and the flex wax on the door just to mix it up to do the opposite of the other side. So when I come to assess it at the end, I get a better idea of that if the different panels made differences to how the um, materials wore. Anyway, um, spreading it on and spreading it around with the dry cloth, letting it haze, doing the other panel and then coming back to buff it off. Much the same as the other side, and I was surprised. I thought, um, with it being a dry application, that the flex wax might catch up in terms of its curing and uh, buffing, but it was still really grabby. And I really think this could be down to the weather conditions, so it might have needed longer to go off, which isn't a problem. But when you're using a wet wax, especially, you want it to be quite quick and not have to do any further buffing. And at this time of year, you, you want it to be quick and easy to do. So, from that perspective, I found that the cherry flash was easier to use but um, is it a better wax yeah, and we'll get to the results for that way to see so as I finish off here on the bonnet uh, let's talk about price cherry flash costs 15 pounds at 32 ounces which is about 900 mil flex wax costs 30 pounds for 650 mil and it usually is at full price generally and that means the cherry flash is about a third of the price of the flex wax. So the real question is, is it a third as good as the flex wax? Let's try and find out. Okay, fast forward two months, magic of the internet and uh, it's time to see how it's fared. I've got a couple of pictures which I've put up now of how I've uh, seen it over the last two months. And the beading still seemed pretty strong. Would you believe it, today it hasn't rained. Um, so I'm gonna do a bit of rain simulation by using the rinse nozzle on the um, quick release one, which is the black one. So spray a bit over, we'll see how it beads and then I'll get to uh, washing it off. I'm gonna wash it off with uh, Built Hamber Auto Foam or Touchless, probably Touchless today I think. Um, and we'll just see how it all fares under that. So on this side, the cherry flash is there and the flex wax is here. On the other side, it's the other way around. We'll see the things from both sides. We're gonna do this beading test as well because this side 
is a dry application, the other side was a wet application. Anyway, time lapse and some stills and whatever. Gum. Okay, so there's still some protection. That's the main thing. I can see the flex wax seems a bit more vibrant in terms of its activity than the cherry flash, but there's still something there under both of them. Right, the same again. There's no pressure behind this, it's not really blasting anything off. Doors are pretty flat. Rear quarter's not too bad. That's where the flex wax was on the rear. Uh, let's get this washed off and see what it's like underneath them. Okay, seemingly some technical issues there which stopped me recording mid uh, rinsing down the snow foam. However, we've got to a point where we've got a vehicle that is completely cleared of snow foam, not contact washed yet, so that's the next step. But let's see what we're doing in terms of water repellency. The water's clinging on at the moment. Okay, rear quarter is doing better than the door. The door has got cherry flash on. The rear quarter has got flex wax on, both applied wet. Let's go and do the same thing on the other side. All right, let's give this a go then. Yeah, I'm still seeing better water repellency on the door than I am on the uh, on the rear quarter. So this time, flex is on the door and. Yep, so pretty similar story here. The cherry flash is looking pretty flat. The flex wax seems to be holding up a bit better. So it's time to wash it now, and I'm gonna use uh, the pH neutral shampoo, which is Built a Hamber Auto Wash. Okay, any observations during the wash phase? Actually, yes, there was, and I'm surprised by this. Um, the bits that were coated in the flex wax seem a lot slicker under the mitt. Um, I wouldn't say the dirt released from them more easily or anything like that, but they definitely feel smoother and slicker. So give it a rinse down now and see what the final thoughts are. The cherry flash is completely dead, on the paintwork anyway. I'm still surviving on the glass, but the glass has got more natural repellency anyway. Um, the flex wax is still there, but it's not there in a strong way. But it is still there. Um, I wouldn't say flex wax is worth twice the cherry flash, but I also wouldn't say cherry flash and flex wax are that good. Hopefully that's a useful summation. I think cherry flash is a good showroom wax, um, a good summer wax, a good prep wax if you're selling your car and you want it to look good, cracking for that. Um, but for maintaining your car and protecting it, no. No, I don't think so. Probably better products in the market. And to that point, um, I would say the Turtle Wax Seal and Shine. I think that's what it's called, yeah, the one that's it's about six to eight pounds a bottle, lasts about six months. Uh, if you want to protect your car and don't have to spend much money, that'd be where I put my money. All right, thank you very, very much for watching this kind of extended and slightly altered video. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.